Pandemic restrictions have put the brake on holiday travels, but that has made a U-turn with the rising popularity of recreational vehicles in China. Our reporter Wang Suwen joined one family on their trip. It's just another day for the Li family. They've lost count of the times they've been on the road. And they've traveled 90,000 kilometers by RV across 31 provinces of the regions and 32 countries. Our vehicle has a living room area with the sofa here, and a kitchen area, and a bathroom. For the bedrooms, there is a vertical bed, and the other one is on top of the driving area. Self-sufficient and freedom to go anywhere. That's increasingly appealing to Chinese travelers. Because of the pandemic, we can't go anywhere. Recreational vehicles give us the freedom to go anywhere. We don't need to worry about booking hotels or getting up late. It gives us a lot of flexibility and saves a lot of money. There is a growing interest in this form of travel. Last year, there were 27 million internet searches for RV travel on Chinese websites, 48% more than 2019. The sales of recreational vehicles hit another record, almost 70,000 units last year. China now has about 1,400 large RV campsites, and the number continues to rise. Campsite owners started to offer more holiday packages tailored for the RV. There are three to 5,000 people during this national holiday, double the number for a normal weekend. For long-term RV camping customers, we offer special deals tailored for a week or a month. The RV industry will be a huge market in the future, with recreational vehicles being a family's second car, the first one for transport and the second for travel. The pandemic has affected the tourism industry, but cannot stop people from pursuing a good life. And now the Li family is already planning their next trip. Wang Suwen, CGTN, Beijing.